In this video, I'm going to show you how we can interact and examine uh, the objects by clicking on the A button and rotating the object with the mouse. So this is our basic Unity scene. I have downloaded the starter assets from the asset store. Uh, so this is the player uh, capsule and in front of him we have uh, a cube which is gonna represent the table now inside the player capsule uh, in the player camera root we're gonna create a 3d cube uh, we're gonna align it properly and scale it down we're gonna align it uh, in front of the player we're gonna remove the collider no need for it so this is the offset where the player is gonna see the object when he interacts with it we're going to remove the mesh renderer. Now here we're going to create a Canva. UI Canva. And inside it we're going to have a text. And then we're going to type uh, press E to interact. Uh, now here uh, I'm just uh, positioning the text and you know changing the font and the size and also the position okay that's enough Now here we're going to create uh, 3D, uh, sorry, three types of 3D objects. We have a cube, cylinder, and a sphere. Uh, we're going to position them uh, correctly above the table. And uh, we're going to also assign different materials. Okay, good. And now we're gonna create an empty object. You can name it whatever you want. I'm naming it, naming it interacting manager. Uh, and now uh, we're gonna drag and drop the script. I'm gonna provide it down in the description. gonna assign the script to the interacting manager game object okay. and the offset we're gonna assign the cube that we created previously I'm gonna name it offset to recognize it and the canva uh, canva that we created and the table object, this one, the white one. Okay, now I'm going to explain the script. Okay, here we have a list of variables. We have our offset game object, the player input, the target object, a boolean variable where it's going to check if we are examining or not, our canva, and then our table object, uh, the last mouse position as a vector 3 and then our examined object the transformation value of it and here we have a list of position and rotation of our uh, interactable objects or examined object the same thing and the start method we're gonna disable our canva and then we're gonna assign our target object to our player capsule by using game object dot find and our player input uh, we're gonna uh, assign it to our uh, player input component Now in the update method we're gonna check uh, if we press uh, the E button So if we did uh, we're gonna perform a raycast from the camera to the mouse position and Check if it hits uh, an object tagged as object 
if it does we're gonna toggle the examination state and we're gonna store uh, the examined object uh, original position and rotation here we're gonna check if the user is close to the table object if it is uh, we're gonna check if we are examining uh, then it's gonna uh, call the examine object and the start sorry the examine method and the start examination method and also we're gonna disable the canva if we stopped uh, examine examining uh, we're gonna enable the canva and we're gonna call also two methods the non-examine and the stop examination method and if we are not even close uh, we're gonna disable the canva anyway now here is our toggle examination method where we are toggling the state of the boolean variable now in the start examination method uh, this method is called when the player start examining the object uh, it locks the cursor and makes it visible and disable the player input component to like prevent the player from moving while examining in the stop examination we're gonna do the opposite uh, we're gonna hide the cursor and lock it and we're gonna enable the player input so the player uh, is in like allowed to move around here we have uh, the examine another examine method it also co uh, is called when the player is examining the object it moves the examined object uh, toward the offset by using vector 3 dot lerp and allow the player to rotate or, rot or rotate the object uh, based on the mouse uh, movement in the non-examine method uh, it's called when the player is not examining the object uh, here we are resetting the position of the examined object uh, and the rotation of it so when we stop examining the 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 object is gonna get back to its original position and rotation basically now here uh, here is a boolean method where we are checking if the user is close to our table object uh, it's return either true or false so if you are close then it's gonna return true else uh, we're gonna return false now we're gonna select the 3d objects and we're gonna make sure uh, they have the tag uh, object if you don't have the tag uh, create a new one I already have it and also make sure of the spelling so we're gonna assign the tag uh, and then we're gonna play the scene As you can see, when we get close to the table, the press E to interact appears, and when we press E, we can uh, examine the object and rotate it with the mouse. Now also, what you can do is you can uh, position the offset, make it like a little bit uh, further, because I, I found it, it was close to me, and now this is much better, and then yeah, that's it.